Last week, I hit another wall with burnout. Laying on the bed with my phone, couldn't move my body or my brain. The very next day, I managed to get up and started a new painting. But it was just temporary. I had high hopes for the week ahead, especially with a new painting project. I was eager to explore a different subject matter. However, things quickly took a turn again. It felt like I had forgotten everything I knew about painting, constantly erasing and restarting the canvas in frustration until I eventually stopped. In an attempt to shake off the fatigue and frustration, I signed up for some new painting courses hoping to reignite my passion and skills. But as the week progressed, I found myself caught in a relentless cycle of improving my painting techniques and scrambling to produce content for my YouTube channel. By the end of the week, I realized I didn't have a video ready to upload adding to my stress and disappointment. It was at this moment that I acknowledged the reality of my burnout. I decided to take a day off, consciously diverting my attention away from both my art and YouTube. Hi everyone. I haven't left the house for three days. I've been taking some courses and I'm running out of art supplies. So I'm gonna need to go get some art supplies, um, get something yummy to eat and get some sun. <laughs> It was a humbling realization that burnout isn't just an inconvenience. It's a confusing and frustrating experience. It's like our body's way of waving a red flag, signaling for us to slow down. Yet we often stubbornly push through ignoring the warning signs. Reflecting on this, I began to understand that there might be deeper reasons behind why we push ourselves to the brink. But I also came to the realization that resisting burnout only exacerbates the problem. Instead, it's crucial to listen to our bodies and allow ourselves the time and space needed to recover. Ultimately, our mental well-being 
should be our top priority. As both an artist and a content creator, prioritizing our mental health is crucial. This line of work is particularly susceptible to criticism and self-doubt, making it essential to cultivate a deep understanding of our own well-being. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? We often extend kindness and compassion to others, yet struggle to offer the same to ourselves. In the world of art and content creation, we are constantly putting ourselves out there, exposing our creations to the scrutiny of others, whether it's a painting, a video, or a piece of writing, each creation feels like a piece of ourselves laid bare for the world to judge. And let's face it, not everyone will appreciate or understand our work. And that's okay, but it can still take a toll on our mental state. That's why I think it's vital to nurture a sense of self-compassion, just as we would offer encouragement and support to a friend or colleague facing criticism or self-doubt. We need to extend that same kindness to ourselves. It's about recognizing our own worth and valuing our efforts even in the face of adversity. Taking care of our mental health isn't just about avoiding burnout or overcoming criticism. It's about fostering a positive and resilient mindset that allow us to thrive creatively. So let's remember to be as kind to ourselves as we are to others. After all, we deserve it just as much. So this painting is inspired by Balinese culture. It's the Balinese lady praying in the temple. Um, the next one I'm gonna paint something bigger and yeah I think I will be hopefully <laughs> not so much burnout anymore <laughs> but it's okay it's part of the um, part of the journey so um, yeah I will see you again in the next video thank you for being here and please take a good care of yourself if you like the video subscribe like and comment thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.